I've been talking to a lot of people about ecological crisis and the fate of the world and this sort of thing. Well, imagine in hindsight the wisdom that we would impute to Gaia if we were to suddenly realize that what is happening on this planet is that nature knows that the sun is going to explode. And what we are is a kind of response to the anticipation of a wounding that 50,000, 5 million years ago, the geo-heliocentric relationships began to vibrate out of tune. And um, as a consequence of this, a species was called forth that could organize an escape and we are it. In other words, we are in a divine play. In line with this, and what made me even entertain these ideas, is I had a very bizarre experience recently. I was in Hawaii, and uh, in our botanical garden there is a very large dead tree, and one limb of this tree sticks far out over the, over the land. And uh, Banisteriopsis kapi, a large hallucinogenic South American vine, is planted at the, at the bottom of this tree. And uh, it just has swarmed up this tree and covered it with greenery. But it wouldn't go out onto this one limb that stuck out. And I, it bothered my sense of symmetry that this vine would not completely cover this tree. And I even thought about trying to climb up into the tree and thread it out onto this limb to get it to do what I wanted. So I was sitting looking at this tree and this situation and actually thinking about it. And suddenly the limb fell. <laughs> it broke off. And then I thought, and I thought, the vine sensed that it was in unstable. It would not invade this domain that it sensed was structurally unstable. Well, then I said to myself, but how could it? What is the mechanism of this sensing of instability? And a, a friend of mine said, well, perhaps the wind impacts on weakened wood differently than on unrotted wood and perhaps rhythms in the tree tell it to stay away from him. And then I realized if one plant has that kind of sensitivity to the entering into a domain of danger, what must the ecosystem of this planet be doing in reaction to what we are doing to the planet. So it, I, I see, uh, the reason this relates to the imagination is because I see uh, ourselves in communication with the imagination. It is sending images back into the past to try and direct us away from areas of instability. It really is the Gaian mind is a real mind. Its messages are real messages. And our task through discipline, psychedelics, attention to detail, whatever we have going, is to try and extract this message and eliminate ourselves from the message so that we then can see the face of the other.